Sports by the Hunt Leagues. On October 7, 2012, Roosevelt Community Schools lost a dear member of our family. Today we are proud to honor Bob Einecker for his contributions to our district and community. Bob was a Vietnam veteran who served in the Marine Corps and was an active member of the Roseville VFW. Additionally, Bob spent many of his years in the Roseville district as a parent, board of education member, bond coordinator, athletic booster, coach, and supporter of the Roseville High School Automotive Program. Present today is Bob's family, including his wife Kay, mother-in-law Mary Lee Fields, son Michael and granddaughter Kaylee, son Patrick with his wife Jessica, grandson Jacob and granddaughter Nora, daughter Melissa and Scott Papko and granddaughter Abigail, son Paul and Stephanie Gabriel, brother David, David, his wife Mary Ann, nephew Jason, his wife Shelly, and their son Zach. We also wish to welcome the Roseville Community Schools Board of Education, who have de decided to dedicate and rename our football field in Bob's honor. The rock placed at our field entrance will remain as recognition of his many contributions to the district and their families. On behalf of Roseville Community Schools, Principal Pete Hedmark is presenting the Einecker family with an identical plaque from the rock. At this time, please direct your attention to the press box as we remember and honor Bob Einecker and the impact he has made to our district. Thank 
Hello and welcome to Bob Einiger Memorial Field as we get ready for exciting homecoming football action between the visiting Patriots of Cousin Hill High School and your Roseville Panthers. This afternoon's Mac White matchup features the three and four Panthers whose hopes of a state playoff berth are hanging in the balances of the next two games. If they win today and next game out at Warren Woods High School, they do have an opportunity to make the playoffs for the sixth time in school history. Both teams taking the field as your Varsity Panthers will be first to kick off. Kicking off for your Panthers, number 11, Michael Evans. Panthers coming to the game with a renewed offense and a bigger emphasis on defense this season, which has equated in more victories, more exciting action, and the hopes of a homecoming victory this cool Saturday afternoon. Evans kicking off, received by number one of the Patriots. Make that number four of the Patriots. That's Stephen Charles Jr. Who returns the ball back into Panther territory, downed at around the 37-yard line. Tackle made by the kicker, number 11, Michael Evans. It's going to be a flag on the field. It's going to be a personal foul penalty against the Patriots. That is going to be a 15-yard walk-off from the spot of the penalty. The penalty occurred at the Panther 45-yard line. So the Patriots are going to get pushed back to their own 40-yard line. Well, they'll start out first down and 10. Number five, Nick Palmer under center for the Patriots. Starting the game off with a quick halfback pass. Pass thrown by number seven, Zach Schulte. Incomplete. It's going to set up a second down and ten for the Patriots. Ball still placed at the 40-yard line. Cousin of Patriots come into the game also looking for a state high school playoff berth. Having been removed from the playoffs for... A uh, few years now. Thirty-three on the run for the Patriots. That's Brandon Updike. Tackles made by number fifty-five. That's John Dario Northington, assisted by number thirteen Desmond Wright. It's going to be a pickup of eight on the play. Third down and two for the Patriots. Inching toward that 50-yard line, still in Patriot territory. 11-13 left here in the first quarter. Hand off to Stephen Charles Jr. Breaks loose. He's down to the 35-yard line where he runs out of bounds. They're going to mark him out at the 36-yard line. It's going to be enough yardage for a Patriot first down. First down and 10 for Cousino into Panther territory at the Roseville 36-yard line. Patriots running a quick run attack against the Panthers to start the game. Definitely the strength of their offensive program this year. Handoff goes to number two, Kerry Debos. 
tackle made by number 77 of your Panthers, Zach Hill. That's his first tackle on the afternoon. Jimmy pick up a six on the play, second down and four. Panthers looking to stop this Patriots motion forward toward the goal. They are on the 31 yard line. Only one pass so far this drive for the Patriots. Another Patriot carry. Stops made by number 77, Zach Hill. 55, John Giro Northington with the assist. It's going to be enough yardage for a first down. It's going to be Cousineau's. It's going to be their second first down of this drive. First down and 10 ball placed at the Roseville 26-yard line. Panther defense adjusting. Palmer with the keeper. Tackles made by number 11 of your Panthers, Evans. That's his second tackle on this afternoon. It's going to be a pickup of eight on the play, second down and two for the Patriots. Inside the 20-yard line, ball placed at the Panthers 17. Quarterback Nick Palmer and his offensive coordinators plans working well this first drive against the Panthers. 9.30 left in the first quarter. Scoreless game. Hand up to DeBose Jr. Appears to have had the uh, first down. And indeed, that will be enough yardage for the first down. Zach Hill with the stop third tackle on the drive for Zach. It's going to be first down and 10. Cousineau now sitting at the Panther 14-yard line. The Panthers are going to have to step up defensively if they're going to prevent the Patriots from keeping uh, uh, moving the ball forward and into the end zone. <laughs> number 21, Ben Keith on the carry for the Patriots. Tackle made by number 15, Verson Mitchell. It's going to be a gain of one on the play. Second down and nine for the Patriots. A few more defensive stops like that on the part of the Panthers, and they may just stop the Patriots from getting into the end zone. Palmer with the play call. Lines up under center. Snap and fake handoff. Keeps it himself, and he's going to march into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Nick Palmer going 14 yards into the end zone for Cousineau's first score on the afternoon. It's going to make the score 6-0 awaiting the point after. Panther defense biting hard on that fake handoff to number 33, Brandon Updike, Updike rather, holding the ball himself and going into the end zone. Set out to attempt a point after number 19, Anthony Secchi. His kick is up. And it is good. And with 8.20 left in the first quarter, the Patriots draw first blood over the, Patri or over the Panthers, seven to nothing. Your score, Panthers zero, Cousin seven. Cousin going 60 yards on their first offensive drive, producing a touchdown. The hopes are that the Panthers can strike back go right down the field themselves and also get into the end zone. The one thing against the Patriots you do not want to do is get down early against them. They are masters at holding a lead. Panther special team taking the field back deep for your Panthers. Number one, Denzel Armstrong. Number five, Jalen Braxton. Kicking off for the Patriots, Anthony Secchi. Kick is up. It is fielded at the five yard line by Braxton. 
Braxton outside to the 30, 35 stops and gets dropped around the 37 yard line. So a 32 yard return for number five, Jalen Braxton, gives the Panther favorable field uh, positioning here in their first offensive drive. It'll be first down and 10 from the Panther 37 yard line. Kevin Gates, your quarterback for the Panthers this year. Number 14 takes the snap. Quick pass out completed. Bobbled and dropped. Pass intended for number 13, Desmond Wright. Nearly completed. Looked like he had it, but uh, lost the handle at it at the last second. Dropped it. It would have been a pickup of four yards on the play. However, Panthers now at a second and 10. Gates in shotgun. Panthers double-double either side. Two receivers on the left and the right. Gates back to pass. Gets hurried. Keeps the ball himself. Gets up over the 40, up near the 45-yard line. It's going to be brought down at the 44. It's going to be a pick up a six on the play. It's going to create a third down and four for your Panthers. Big opportunity here to showcase the improved offensive attack this year by picking up an early first down and keeping this drive going. Of course, the goal to match the uh, Cousineau Patriots who scored on their first offensive drive. Gates rolls right, looking to throw again, hurried. Throws the ball up, intended for number five Braxton, nearly completed. Oh boy, that would have been a 32 yard pickup and indeed a Panther first down. But as much as Braxton tried in and out of his hands, and the Panthers are going to be leave faced with a fourth down in their territory. Your Panthers up here as if they will punt. Evans going to set back deep to kick. Evans averaging 34 yards on his punts this uh, season. That one goes 42 yards, will not get touched. It will get down by the Panthers. And the Patriots will start first down and 10 from their own 20-yard line. 7-13 left in the first quarter. Well, the Panthers will have to be much improved on offense this afternoon if they have any chance of beating the Patriots and keeping their playoff hopes alive. Only six yards of offense on that first drive, and that was by uh, Evan Gates and a quarterback keeper. Couple quick, couple quick passes, close misses, but unfortunately did not produce much for the Panthers. So let's see what the Panther defense can do. Palmer back to pass, looks to throw deep. He's got a receiver in the area, but it's gonna sail out of bounds. Joel Malisek, the intended receiver. Nice defense play by number eight of your Panthers. That's to John Armstrong. Armstrong, a junior this year. Coach Richendaller and Coach Rerick excited to have him back for his senior season. He's doing well in the Panther secondary this year. Second and 10, Patriots. Their own 20-yard line. Palmer will get under center. Quick handoff up the middle. Not much yardage there. To Bose on the carry. Tackle made by number 15 of your Panthers. That's Verson Mitchell. That's a second tackle on the afternoon. It's going to be a pick of a three on the play. Third down and seven. It's going to be third down and seven for your Panther defense to stop here. Patriots full of many tricks in their back today between passing and rushing, keeping the Panther defense on their toes. And it's going to be another bootleg here. Palmer escapes free up the sidelines there. 
knocks out about the 29 yard line. It's gonna be close to a first down. And he's gonna be short. Ran out of bounds at about the 28 yard line. It's gonna be fourth down and two for, for the Patriots. Great job by your Panther defense. Big fourth down stance here for the Panthers. Patriots appearing to punt. Indeed they do. Kick is off, short punt, and it's gonna take a Roseville roll. And then it takes a Patriot roll, and it's gonna get down by the Patriots at the 41 yard line, where your Panthers will take over first down and 10, so great. Great field position for your Panthers after stopping the Patriots on their second offensive drive. Your Panthers now looking to have things go in their favor offensively, looking to tie that score up. Patriots currently leading 7-0 with six minutes to go in the first quarter. Gates rolling out. Looking for the option, he's gonna keep it himself. He knocked out of bounds around the 41, 42 yard line. And he's gonna get knocked out at the 41. It's gonna be no gain on the play. Second down and 10. Panthers face now with a second down. as the officials call a timeout. It's gonna be an official timeout as the head up is walking to the sidelines to talk to Coach Rerick. They are going to have the clock reset from 429 up to 537. Gate shotgun, double doubles for the Panthers. Second down, Gates has it. Looking to pass, over the middle. Pass completed to Braxton. Muscles his way inside the 45 yard line down to the 44. And that's gonna be enough yardage for a Panther first down. That's gonna be a 15 yard pickup. Gates to Braxton. Gates looking to throw, got some at sidelines. Evans wide open, drops it at the 30 yard line. He had quite a bit of green in front of him. That would have been a first down. And more yards to come. Oh boy, the Panthers cannot afford to keep dropping passes, especially in the wide open field. Gates with only one completion on the afternoon and that was just that 14 yarder to Braxton. So it's gonna be second down and 10. Patriot 43 yard line. Evans has it. Moving down to around the 42. They're going to call it a pickup of two on the play. Third down and eight. It's going to be third down and eight. Patriots inside, or Panthers inside the Patriot 45 yard line. Gates rolling left. Looking for an open receiver. He's going to keep it himself. Gets on his horse, works his way down inside the 40. Does not get out of bounds. Looks like he's brought down at the 39. It's gonna be a pickup of six on the play. It's gonna create a fourth down and four. I would think fourth down territory for the Panthers. Fourth down and four from the Patriot 38 yard line. All right, your Panthers are going to punt. They are not going to go for it on fourth down. They're going to punt. Evans standing at the 50. 
Panthers with the swinging gate. Cousineau adjusting. Ball. He looks like he's going to keep it. No, indeed, he's going to kick it. It's bounced off a of Patriot helmet. It looks to be recovered by the Patriots, and indeed it is. So I think that play was designed for Evans to run with it. If he's seen some opening to go, and if not, to kick it. And when he kicked it, it was a low kick, bounced off a Patriot helmet, recovered by the Patriots. And it will be Cousineau football, first down and 10 from their own 43-yard line. All right, 3.30 left in the first quarter. Hand off to a very, very, very quick Stephen Charles. He gets into Panther territory down to the 47. Tackle made by number seven of your Patriot, or of your Panthers, rather, Julius Jones. Julius Jones' first tackle on the afternoon. However, it's going to be a pickup, but nine for the Patriots. Second down and one for Cousineau. Another handoff to Charles. Tackle made by Zach Hill. That's Zach Hill's fifth tackle on the afternoon. But that's going to be enough yardage for another Cousineau first down. So it's going to be first down and 10 for Cousineau. They are marching again toward the end zone. They are on the Panther 43-yard line. And your Panther defense looking for some answers here early on. Palmer with the handoff again. Again to, uh, again to Charles. Another big chunk of yardage by the Patriot offense. Tackle made there by Andrew Payton. His first on the afternoon. It's a lot of real estate Patriots got there. They have a first down and 10. Ball will be placed at the Panther 25 yard line. Ball is placed at the Panther 24 yard line. First and 10. And off again, stop behind the line of scrimmage. Big hits by Jones. Huge hits. It's going to be loss of a play. It's going to be loss of a yardage on that play. It's going to be loss of two on the play. Second down and long for Cousineau. 205 to go in the opening quarter. And the Patriots leading your Panthers seven to nothing. Kind of forgetting Charles lost in a sea of Panthers. Panther line with the stop there, led by Zach Hill. That's going to be a sixth tackle on the afternoon. Hill, a very big bright stop for the Panther defense today. It's going to be a pick up a three on the play. Third down and nine for Cousineau. Your Panther defense looking to stand strong. It's going to be a keeper again. Flags on the field, flags all over the field. Tackle made by Braxton. Palmer rolling out, faking the handoff, keeping it himself. Flags on the field. And it's gonna be a holding penalty against the Patriots. That will negate the play, and that will move the Patriots back, and they'll be faced with a third down and long. <laughs> so your Patriots, rather your Panther defense, will push the Patriots back to the 32-yard line, where it's going to be third down and long. Well, third down and 17. Clock rolling just over a minute to go in the quarter. Patriots leading your Panthers 7-0. 
big opportunity here for your Panther defense to make another great stop. Made a great stop in that second offensive drive of the Patriots looking to make an equally as big a stop in the third. It's going to be a pitch and it's going to be a throw by Schulte. Whoa! A lot going on there. Pass intended. Pass intended for Patriot receiver Olis. Broken up by number eight, Dejan Armstrong, and nearly intercepted by number 86, Andrew Payton, who came in there as the ball was bouncing off of Armstrong's hands, nearly made the reception. However, it is a stop. And now your Panthers have kept the Patriots to a fourth down and 17. Fourth down territory. Palmer going for it. Pitches it out to Schulte. Schulte will stop and throw it back to Palmer. Intercepted by Andrew Payton. Halfback Zach Schulte. Trying to get it back to quarterback Nick Palmer. Intercepted by number 86, Andrew Payton. And you talk about the Panther defense coming up strong. Big stop for the Panthers. And it will be their ball first down and 10 from their own 16-yard line. Little renewed momentum for the Patriots or for the Panthers. Hopefully they can turn it into some points here. Handoff to Evans gets up to the 20 yard line. It's gonna be a solid five yard pickup by the Panthers. So second down and five. Ball on the Panther 20 yard line. Your Panthers looking for a first down. Evans again on the call. He is close to a first down. Gets brought down at around the 25 yard line. It's going to be a pickup of five yards on the play as the first quarter comes to an end. And we're waiting to see if that is enough yardage for a first down. And the officials are going to call for the change to do an official measurement. The first quarter has officially ended after one quarter of play. Cousin leading your Panthers seven to nothing. However, looking to see if the Panthers picked up a very important first down here. And it indeed is enough yardage for a Roseville first down. First down and 10 for your Panthers. Ball's gonna be placed at the Roseville 25 yard line. Great conversion on the part of your Panther offense. Panther defense set them up really nice with uh, Patriot stops on their second and third offensive drives. So now it is up to the Roseville offense. to take advantage of that and with any luck get into the end zone. Well first quarter stats here for you. Rushing wise quarterback Evan Gates has the the most rushing yards for the Panthers. Three rushes for 13 yards. Number 11 Michael Evans right behind him. Three rushes for 12 yards. Also Gates with a pass completion back in the first quarter to Jalen Braxton, good for 14 yards. Jalen Braxton, uh, the only uh, Panther receiver making a reception first quarter, and he has 14 yards receiving. So here we go. Second quarter beginning for your Panthers, charging down the field, looking to even the score up on homecoming 2014. Snap fumbled. Gates handoff to Matt Fowler was dropped. It's gonna be recovered by the Panthers. It's gonna be a loss of about six yards on the play. Second down and long for the Panthers. Second 
second down and long. Gates in shotgun. Trips left for your Panthers. Gates looking to pass. Throw over the middle of the field. Pass intended for number 10. Adorno Abney Berry. Pass would have been completed at the Patriot 45 yard line. Broken up by two Patriot defenders and we have a flag on the play. Flag on the field preliminary accounts. Looks for it to be against Cousineau. You're waiting the official word of the head umpire. And indeed it's going to be a pass interference call against Cousineau. That's going to give the Panthers 15 yards and an automatic first down. 15 yards and an automatic first down. Here <laughs> Panthers moving the ball any way they can. First down and 10 from their own 33 yard line. Oh, but apparently it's not gonna be enough yards for a first down. It's gonna be second down and about two from the Panther 33 yard line. Gates handoff to Evans. Gonna be a loss on the play. Tackled by the entire defensive line of the Patriots. Gets knocked back to the 33 yard line. So let's uh, let's set the scene here for you. Third down and three for your Panthers. Need a big first down pickup here. Panthers fail to get third down. They will be setting Evans out again to punt. Hand off to Evans up the middle. He's up over the 35. Looks to get up to around the 37. L appears to have enough yardage for a first down. And indeed he does. Evans works himself to the 37 yard line. That's gonna be enough yardage for a Panther first down. First down and 10 for your Panthers. 10.38 left in the half. Two times now your Panthers coming up with big third down plays. Keeping the drive alive. Gates rolling out, looking to pass. Throws, pass completed. That throw to number 13, Desmond Wright. It's going to be up at the Panther 49-yard line. That's going to be good enough for another Panther first down. Desmond Wright with a 12-yard reception there. That's going to be another first down for your Panthers. First down and 10. Gates still in shotgun. Two pass completions now in the afternoon. Pass intended for Evans just outside his reach. Going to stop the clock. Second down, 10. Panthers working hard to get themselves into Cousin O territory. Gates looking to pass, he's going to get dropped. That's going to be a big loss for your Panther offense. He's knocked down about 12 yards behind the line of scrimmage. So your Panthers are going to get knocked back into Panther territory at the 39 yard line. It's going to be third down and long, another big third down here for the Panthers looking to convert on first down. They're going to have to get all the way to the Patriot 41 yard line. It's going to be 20 yards. Third down and 20. Gates back to pass. Looking for an open receiver. Founds one. Throws it over the middle. Intended for Peyton. Intended for Peyton. That would have uh, been complete at the Patriot 40 yard line. That would have been enough for a Panther first down. However, Patriot defender jumps in front of it. Number 85, Brandon Oles. So it's going to be fourth down. Panthers setting in their punt unit. Evans going to kick it from the 26-yard line. He gets it. Ooh, it's a high one, but not a very far one. 
Drops at the 40, takes a Patriot roll, and it is downed by Jerry Battle at the 43-yard line where Cousin will take over first down and 10. Here's a look at the Roseville High School Marching Band, a wonderful performance at the uh, beginning of our homecoming festivities this afternoon out at uh, Bob Einickner Memorial Field. Patriots keeping it on the ground, 47 yard line is where the stop's made. Tackle made by number 15, Verson Mitchell. It's his third tackle on the afternoon. Your Panthers doing a great job defensively. They allowed the touchdown on the first Cousin Oak drive of the game and have not allowed anything since. DeBose with the carry gets into Panther territory. It's going to be tripped up by number seven. It's Julius Jones of the Panthers. Call it third down and three for the Patriots. It's going to be another keeper by Palmer. He's running up the left side. He's going to have enough for a first down. Tripped up by Braxton of the Panthers. But it's going to be enough yardage for a cousin of first down. They work their way down to the Panther 39 yard line. It's going to be first down and 10. Panther defense just cannot seem to stop that quarterback uh, bootleg. Handoff up the middle. Looks like to be a fumble on the play. Recovered by Patriots. It's going to be a pick up a three on the play. Second down and seven. Tackle eventually made by number 54 of your Panthers, Joshua Hall. Palmer again on the keeper. Squeezing himself through again. Big yardage for the Patriots. Brought down inside the 10-yard line. Tackle made by Peyton of your Panthers. They pick up a 30 on the play for Cousin Owens. Going to create a first down and goal. Ball's going to be placed at the six yard line. 7.05 left in the half. Panther defense looking for a, a big opportunity to stop a, a driving Cousin O Patriot offense right now. Number 33, Updike with the call, and he's going to be into the end zone for a Cousin Oak Patriot touchdown. It's going to give the Patriots 13. It's the Panthers 0, awaiting the point after. Seven-yard touchdown run again by Updike. Another 60-yard Patriot drive. Point after is up, and it is good. So with 6.43 left in the half, the Patriots have taken a 14-0 lead over your Panthers. Panthers need to work hard to make sure this one does not get away from them. Cousin O, too good of a team this year, especially in the Mac White, to come back from uh, any bigger of a deficit than 14 0. Well, we are out at Bob Einicker Memorial Field, just dedicated this afternoon during homecoming festivities. Another successful day of homecoming. 
of uh, homecoming events this homecoming 2014 started with the pancake breakfast at 8 today a wonderful parade at 10 o'clock and then the field dedication to the late Bob Einecker right before game time all right Patriots gonna kick off normal personnel back deep for the Panthers Armstrong Braxton Big returns last time. See if they can equal that performance on this kick. And it's going to sail into the end zone, and that is going to be an automatic touchback. So your Panthers will take over first down and 10 from their own 20-yard line. Looking to get on the scoreboard first time this afternoon. It's the Bob Einicker family. We're on hand along with Central Administration and the Board of Education out at the 50 yard line on the track right before the game a beautiful ceremony uh, dedicating uh, the field to the uh, the late Bob Heimnicker and his wonderful efforts he put into the district for so many years Gates with the ball look to pass it keeping it now looking to get around the defender he does to the 30 35 thrown down out of bounds thrown down out of bounds by number 21 Ben Keith and that's going to draw flags. Gates looking to pass early, decided to keep it. Not sure where he ran out of the bounds at, around the 35, 33 yard line. Has a head up, calls it, personal foul. It's going to be a 15 yard penalty. And it's going to be tacked on to the end of the run. So Gates with a pickup of 13 yards and another 15 added on to it. Thanks to the Cousineau penalty, it's going to give the Panthers first down and 10 from their own 49-yard line. 6.36 left in the half. Panther offense looking to get into Cousineau territory. Gates with a quick pass. Oh, Pass intended for Braxton, nearly intercepted by Danny Van of the Patriot defense. It's going to be second down and 10. Second and 10. All right, Panthers have their play, double doubles. Two receivers to the left, two receivers to the right. Peyton right hand side, Evans in motion, Gates with the ball, he's going to pitch it out to Fowler who's going to stop and pass it, oh a wobbler, a wobbler that died short of being caught by Armstrong, Fowler's pass for Armstrong falls short, oh boy Armstrong sitting at the 25, Fowler's pass falling at the 30, totally took the Patriot defense off guard, would have been a huge Panther first down. Panthers taking a chance there. I like it. I like it, but uh, nothing came of it. So third down and 10. Ball on the Panther 49-yard line. 6.28. Down 14-0. Panthers with another big third down. 40% on their third down conversions today. Gates pass to Fowler. Sails over his head. Incomplete. Gates looking to run it. Met with a little opposition. Stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Attempted to get it to Fowler, just sailed it over his head, incomplete. And it's going to be another punting situation for your Panthers. Number six, Joey Melisic, back for the Patriots. Evan standing at the 38. It's going to be a fake to Braxton. Oh, jeez. Panthers go to fake the punts. Oh boy, the snap goes to Jalen Braxton who intended to get it to Nadarius Lee and again it falls just a few yards short. Patriots had no idea that was going on. That would have been a huge first down. But it's going to be a turnover on downs. Patriots take over. First down and 10 from the Panther 49 yard line. And the Panthers pulling out all the stops on this offensive drive trying to, trying to make a first down, trying to get down to the goal line but uh, just falling short on that pass. 
So first down and 10, Panther defense having another opportunity to stop the Patriots. Handoff stopped at the line. Looked like the ball might have been fumbled a little bit. Tackles made by Fowler. And also by uh, Joshua Hall. Run's going to be stopped at the line of scrimmage. So second down and 10. Palmer had to stretch really long to try to get that handoff to his runner and gave the Panther defense chances to come through that line. So a rare mistake there by the Patriots, nearly capitalized on by the Panthers. Run up the middle by DeBose. Tackle made eventually by number 55, John Dero Northington, but not before the Patriots picked up uh, seven yards on the play. So it's going to be third down and three. Ball's on the Panther 42-yard line. 5.17 left in the half. Your Panthers down 14-0. And your Panther defense looking to stop this Cousin O drive. Hand off to the Bows. Nice stop. Nice stop by number 11, Evans. Taking the Bones down right at the leg, stopping his momentum. Beautiful Evans stopping a Patriot first down. So it's going to be fourth down and one for Cousineau. Ball's going to be at the Panther 41 yard line. And it appears as if Cousineau is going to go for it. Very confident that they can get a first down here, but the Panther defense will have something to say about that. All right, fourth down and one. Handoff up the middle. Oh, and it's going to be enough yardage for a first down. DeBose again getting it up the middle. Tackle made by Zach Hill, but not before a pickup of four on the play for the Patriots. And enough yardage for a Cousineau first down. So the Patriots go for it on fourth down. It works out for them. It'll be first down and 10. Panther 38-yard line. 4.03 left in the half. The Panthers just cannot stop that Patriot run up the middle. Again, up the middle. Well, it looked as to be up the middle, but Palmer kept it running to the right side. Tackle made by number eight, DeJean Armstrong of the Panthers. It's going to be his first tackle on the afternoon. It's going to be a pick up a four on the play, second down and six. However, the Patriots are inside the Panther 35-yard line. Panthers have to find some way to plug up that Patriot middle. Palmer ready. Look to handoff, does and keeps it for a pass. Long pass. Oh, intended for number seven. That is Zach Schulte in and out of his hands. It would have been a cousin no touchdown. Would have, could have, should have, but wasn't. Nice defense play by Jalen Braxton of your Panthers. And now the Patriots are faced third down and five. It's a big third down play for your Panther defense. Patriots stalling on the last play. Handoff up the middle. It's going to look to get three, four yards. It's going to be Updike, the runner. He is brought down at the Panther 30-yard line. It's going to be a fourth down and three. Another opportunity for your Panther defense to stop a fourth down for Cousineau. So here, so here we go. go. Fourth down and three. Your Panther defense, defense ready to set up, set up and, and deliver. deliver. Looking to get the ball back and an opportunity to get into that end zone before halftime. Palmer calls it, hands it off to DeBose who runs up the right side. Tackle made by uh, Payton. 
around the 25-yard line, and that's going to be enough yardage for a Patriot first down. Initial hit by Panther defenders were knocked off. The initial hit that the Bows faced would have been close to a first down, but he broke free of that, and by the time Peyton got to him, there was indeed enough yards, indeed, for a Patriot first down. So first down and 10. Patriots at the 25 yard line of the Panthers. Handoff up the middle. Zach Hill again on the stop. Burson Mitchell again on the assist. That's going to be, that's going to be about a yard pickup, second down and nine. Handoff once again. And wow, that, uh, that Patriot offense is just really giving it to the Panthers up the middle, running at will. They're going to pick up seven yards. And with 117 to go in the half, we have a timeout on the field. Yeah, the Patriots picking up seven yards on the last two plays. And just all half long, just been running up the middle, running up the middle, running up the middle, and little by little, um, getting yardage, sometimes big, sometimes small, but staying positive and moving toward the goal. Panthers have little to no answer for that uh, Patriot run. Stick around homecoming festivities at halftime. We'll feature, of course, the crowning of our 2014 uh, homecoming king and queen. Has always got a wonderful homecoming court this year. <coughs> Taking a shot down on the field, you look at our Rosal High School Varsity cheerleaders, 24 of them in all. 24 varsity cheerleaders. All braving the cold, doing a wonderful job. They have their middle school and JV counterparts out there, as well as their alumnus cheerleaders as well, all on the sidelines this afternoon. Patriots, third down and three. Pitch to Charles. Nice big tackle by Evans. It's going to be enough yardage for a first down. Cousineau is at the, let's see, 13 yard line. It's going to be first down and 10. So they are able to pick up another first down before um, getting to the end zone. We have just over a minute to go in the half. Palmer, Palmer's looking to pass, but eventually sacked by Hill. That's Zach Hill's 10th tackle. 10th tackle of the half. It's first quarterback sack of the afternoon. It's going to be a big loss on the play for Cousineau. And with 50 seconds to go in the half, Cousineau calls timeout. Yes, 24 varsity cheerleaders in all, and they are Shauna Brandt, Tori Chapman, Taylor Kahn, Kai Dozier, Dominique Fresh, Kaylee Gates, Ashley Gasly, Dalen Harris, Kayla Harvey, Alexis Heinrich, Dominic Huey, Deja Jones, Brittany Mann, Kaya Mann, Ellie McCarty, Taylor McCollum, Coley O'Banion, Cheyenne Parson, Amanda Pikatowski, Alyssa Rogers, Juliana Tribu, Ashley Watts, Rachel Weldon, and Destiny Wells. A huge varsity cheerleading corps, of course, joined by their middle school, JV, and alumni counterparts. Spanning 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, spanning 40 yards, 40 yards worth of cheerleaders cheering on uh, your Roseville Panthers at this homecoming afternoon. Second down and long for the Patriots, 50.8 seconds as your Patriots, Panthers rather, looking to stop the Patriots. with the stop. It's 
going to be a pickup of three on the play. Next, he's going to be a pickup of uh, maybe pick up about eight on the play. It's going to be a third down and seven, however. Had him coming to the sideline, he's probably going to be looking to add some more time to the clock. Clock rolling down to 39 seconds, but it looks like he wants more time up there. 43 seconds. So four seconds will be added onto the clock. 43 seconds left in the half. And with 43 seconds left in the half, Roseville calls timeout, looking to stop the Cousineau Patriots from getting into the end zone again. So it doesn't appear as if the Panthers will have a chance to score this first half. However, however, they can stop the Patriots from getting into the end zone a third time and keeping the score at 14-0. A very respectable score. A very respectable score for the first half. And it was just, amount, uh, just announced that the winners of this year's homecoming float was going to the freshman class. So the freshman class winning this year's homecoming float. Awesome. It was an awesome float. All four of them very good, but the freshman one winning out. Of course, homecoming festivities officially don't end today. Of course, we have the game this afternoon. And of course, later on tonight, you're going to have the dance. But next Wednesday, you're going to have the juniors versus the seniors in the annual powder puff game. And before Patriots can snap the ball, the Panthers are going to call their last time out of the half. So the juniors and seniors will be doing battle in their annual powder puff game, and that will come up um, a few days after this game. And the juniors, led by Rachel Sarecki, will be taking on the seniors, led by Brittany Baldez. Last year, the seniors escaping with a close two-point victory. The juniors will be trying to get their first victory over a senior class in quite a few years. All right, so here we go. Third down and seven. 43 seconds left in the half. Panthers looking to keep the Patriots out of the end zone. Palmer back to pass, getting rushed. Moves up, runs it, trying to find an open spot. Pass intended for DeBose. And they're going to call a penalty on Johnny Jones for, for pass interference. Not sure that ball was catchable either way, but uh, he did interfere. So your Panthers will have the penalty against them. That will move the pa uh, Patriots up. 37 seconds to go. Unless, of course, they're going to call a penalty against Palmer for crossing the line of scrimmage because he was very close to that line. And indeed, it looks like that that might be the penalty. And that will be the... Yes, that will be the call. So the pass interference was ignored because beforehand, Nick Palmer stepped over the line of scrimmage when he threw the ball, and that's an illegal forward pass. So that's going to create a fourth down for the Patriots as they're going to attempt... A 30-yard field goal. The kick is up. It has enough distance. Is it over? Indeed it is. So number 19, Anthony Sacchi, kicks a 30-yard field goal to extend the Patriot lead by 17 over the Panthers, 17-0, with just 37 seconds to go. Head coach Mel Richendaller talking things over with this Panther special teams. 
trying to create a situation maybe, maybe to give the Panther offense a big uh, opportunity to get into the end zone before they have. Of course, they work on three or four uh, different kick returns, all aimed at getting maximum yardage for the returners. Armstrong, Armstrong and Braxton. The intended receivers, of course, the Patriots may not let it get back to them. Patriot kicks on its way. It's going to sail back into the end zone again. Second straight time. Patriot kicks off, goes into the end zone, and your Panthers will have the ball first down in 10 with just 37 seconds to go. If they're going to do something, it's going to have to be big. It's going to have to be big, and it's going to have to be quick. My guess would be Gates uh, going to be in the shotgun. Panthers throwing all the receivers out. Doubles. Well, they got trips on the right-hand side. Gates back. Quick pass was intended for Fowler. Instead, intercepted by the Patriots. Number 28, Zach Kitka. Intercepted in it. And just like that, your Panthers are now going to have to defend that goal again because I know the Patriots are going to try to push it in. It's going to be first down and 10 for Cousineau from the Panther 30-yard line. Only two seconds went off the clock. Patriots leading 17 to nothing. Trying to put a further damper on this otherwise amazing homecoming 2014 afternoon. Palmer's pass up the middle. Woo, nice defensive by Peyton. Pass intended to Charles. A big old number 86, Andrew Payne, stepping up, jumping up, and nearly, nearly snagging that ball. So second down and 10 from the Panther 30-yard line. 27 seconds. My guess is the Patriots will keep it in the air as to try to advance it as quick as possible toward the goal. Palmer again, throwing it to right side field. Has an open, in, had an open receiver. Pass was intended for number 21, Ben Keith. Incomplete. However, though, we do have a flag on the field thrown by the head ump. And the penalty will go against Cousineau High School. Waiting for the official call. The head up there talking to the captain of the Panther defense deciding what exactly they want to do. Panthers will accept a penalty. It's going to be a holding call against Cousineau. It's going to back him all the way up to the Panther 44-yard line. It'll remain second down, but it'll be second down and 24. 22 seconds. Palmer and the Patriots definitely going to keep it in the air here. Panther secondary adjusting to the receivers. Palmer slips. He's going to keep it. Looking to throw it a couple of times. He's going to keep it. Slides out of bounds at the 42-yard line. That's going to be pick up a three on the play as the clock ticks down. He did not officially get out of bounds. And the ump says to play the ball or to keep the clock running. Before the next play is gone, it's not going to happen. Clock ticks down to zero. And at halftime of homecoming 2014, the visiting Cousin Patriots have a 17-0 lead over the Roseville Panthers. Stay tuned for our homecoming festivities where we'll be crowning the 2014 homecoming king and queen. we got a wonderful court, court folks. Hear all about them. Stay tuned. 